I, Mr. Charlie Marine. Guess what? I can't go to my stronghold. Well, I can go to my stronghold yet, but I can't get the mission from Ajolin yet. Because I'm not level 15, and you've got to be level 15 to get the mission from Ajolin. Uh, right, so welcome to episode 4 of the Imperial Agent, where we will be making our way to Dromund Cass. But first we have some mail uh, from the Keeper. Uh, forward follow-up on Karel's Jarvis. Jarvis, yeah. Uh, Agent, I assume you confirmed Karel's Jarvis's death. It appears someone has taken an interest in his offspring. See forward below. Uh, Sandy monitoring, Sandy monitoring of Vargi Jarvis, brother of Sir, uh, Sergio, son of Karel's, aboard the hospital ship, Adelie has revealed an item of interest. Vargai was recovered, was recovering from his injuries in the Colter attack when a mercenary team boarded the hospital vessel. The mercenaries then extracted Vargai and the Colter tank. Vargai's current location is unknown. Party responsible is also unknown. Did our asset on Hutter verify Karel's execution? Karel has had meant, had means and motives to relocate his only surviving son, but I was told he, he'd been eliminated. Yeah, so we, because remember, we saved Karel's because I didn't want to see him die. You know, he was a good friend of mine. Well, I say a good friend, you know, he was a friend of mine, and I didn't really want to see him die. So I saved him, and obviously he went and grabbed his son with the Colto tank in hand. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what uh, tree to go for, but I think for the time being, I'm going to go for Markmanship. Markmanship? Markmanship, so I can get 3% more damage with, like, my snipe and all that, because I use my snipe quite a lot. I think so, anyway. Yes, I do. Because snipe is an awesome ability. It's very powerful for one shot blows. So there we go, and that'd be three percent more powerful. So now we can make our way to German Cass. And unfortunately, no, I will not be doing the Black Talon. Sorry, not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do the Black Talon. I'm just gonna go straight to German Cass. Hey, Black Talon. Goodbye, Black Talon. I should have done it off screen, really. Then I could have got some more powerful um, items, but I never did. Oh, I got so annoyed earlier because I bought myself a bunch of um um. Wh where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's in my stronghold, of course, because I put some stronghold items. I put some items in my stronghold, and I really wanted to use them, but my sniper wasn't high enough level. I, my sniper has to be level 37 for the chest for, for the chest I wanted to give him for him to use it. And I got so annoyed because he was going to look so awesome with it, but I gotta find something else for him to wear now. So until I find something else for him to wear, I gotta use very basic gear. Yeah. And here we are on the Cass of Dromund! That was very crap for me to say, I'm never going to say that again. And of course we've got to check in at the Arrivals console. Uh, it's just it's just something that happens on every planet you go on, so... I wonder I wonder if you, would, if you could check in without your companion. I'm going to dismiss my companion, but of course... I get the feeling my companion may just come out anyway, because your companion always has something to say. But we'll see. Oh, you must have clear. There we go. You must have clear. That's kind of annoying, but... Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, Kaleo, come back out. I'm here. I know you are. Surprises me how clean you people keep your spaceports. If this were Hutta, I'd be scraping alien gunk off my boots. Of course, if this were Hutta, I couldn't be thrown into prison for spitting the wrong way. So come on, Agent. You're going to welcome me here to the Imperial homeworld? Uh, all right. Welcome to Drummond Cast, Kaleo. So glad you said it. I was starting to feel like I wouldn't fit in. Anyway, let's head down to the city. Keeper wanted us to see the Citadel. I'm guessing it won't be hard to find. Don't worry. It should be fun. Now let's go meet your bosses. Let's go indeed. And I probably should have things like this activated, but of course I don't have enough money unless I use cartel coins. But I don't really want to use cartel coins. So, I guess I'll have to go get myself some money from another character at some point, but I don't know when, so it's not going to be now, but I need to have an experience boost, boost. There we go, and I'll have an experience boost. Actually, while, while I'm going to do stuff, you can go sell some trash items, alright, Kaleo? See you. You go do that, and I shall make our way over to where we need to actually go. Oh, I chose my crew skills as well. I've gone for biochem, bioanalysis, and diplomacy. Uh, obviously, diplomacy, you have light side and dark side missions. But I think for every light side mission I'm going to do, I'll do a dark side mission and so forth. Because I want to keep it as balanced as I can. Although, to be honest, I have been doing side missions and they have had dark side, light side effect alignment. So, at the moment, I'm neutral. <laughs> 
Well, I'm more light than I am dark. That's a bit bad of me, isn't it? I'm more light than I am dark. But, well, you know, we'll see where I am at the end of the playthrough. Obviously, I do stuff off screen, and that will affect my, obviously, my alignment. But we'll see. We'll see. Aha, you've nice returned. Indeed. We have. Ready for departure. Uh, well, he just he just said ready for departure, so I guess Enjoy I I guess he's ready for us, and I will pick that up. I'll pick that up. Uh, I say now, but I'll, I'll do it later. Well, but for, for the main thing, we're just gonna go to Cast City because we need to travel to Cast City for Enjoy our main stay. quest. So I'll do all these side missions later because I don't need to do them right now. Oh my god, the frame rate is horrible. I forgot to mention as well. I have some more abilities that I have as well that I didn't pick up from my sniper class so I have Lay's target increases the critical chance of your next snipe by 100% I should put that somewhere pretty close I should probably put that there and then snipe literally after it and then we have ambush as well fires a high powered shot that deals 410 damage to 463 weapon damage must be in cover to use well, I don't know why you're putting it in my taskbar. If I need to be in cover, to use it. Somebody told me to use F as well, and that would put me into cover. And I really appreciate that. And I'm going to actually move this in front of Snipe. Lovely. What's the point in all your abilities being here anyway, if you can't even use it unless you're in cover? I, d I don't see the point. I mean, yeah, I suppose you could put some abilities here. But for the most part, you, you can't. Oh. Uh, oh, I need to speak to the Keeper. Oh, is the Keeper actually here in Cast City? <gasps> Ooh, we actually get to meet the Keeper himself. Ho, 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 ho. It's following me. It's following me. <sighs> if I were to try to turn the camera. It follows the camera. It doesn't stop looking at me. Oh, my God, it's so creepy. Oh, of course, at level 15, I can finally use a mount. I just got to get to level 15. Destination? Unknown. Enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. And here we are at Imperial Intelligence. You've got the Imperial Intelligence here. You've got the Sith area in the middle. And on the other side, you have the Bounty Hunter area. So that's quite nice that they keep the Bounty Hunter and the Imperial Agent part separate. And oh my god, the game just froze. Okay, it's fine. Oh my god, the game just froze again. Okay, it's fine. Wow, this place looks actually pretty cool. I really like this place. So I gotta go in that face later. Oh, that's bounty hunter face. Okay, so the bounty hunter stuff does come over here eventually. I mean, I, I see. Have I, have I already been here on my bounty hunter? Because I, ha I am like in level chapter two, I think now, on my bounty hunter. I don't even know where I am anymore. Anyway, let's speak to Keeper, who is this way, somewhere. Uh, through here. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Uh, Keeper, Keeper, Keeper. There he is! This is not your domain, Keeper. It is mine. It has always been mine. Creepy. Of course, my lord. All you have built here, all you hope to control, it falls apart as easily as a human life. An hour ago, the Minister of Intelligence dropped to his knees and wept before me. He would do so too, if not for fear of being humiliated. Your dissatisfaction is clear, my lord. It will be remedied. Now I'm asking you humbly to leave. These people are suffering in your presence. I will leave my domain at the moment of my choosing, Keeper. You, Agent, you were the one sent to Hutter. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Why do I feel like I'm about to die? Your body reacts to the power of the Force. The dark side twists you, taints you. I am Darth Jadus. You serve me well in your dealings with Nemro. You will serve me well again. It would be an honor. Sublimate your desires to those of the Empire, and you will go far. Keeper, you will use this one. He will complete the assignment as I have instructed. He's quite capable, my lord, but he lacks experience. A more seasoned agent? I have made my decision. Cool! I wish the situation resolved before I leave Drummond Kass. See to it that my will is done. Very well. I'll make arrangements. He has faith in Congratulations, me. Congratulations, Agent. You've made a friend on the Dark Council. I don't envy you. Believe me, sir, it wasn't by choice. I imagine not, but there's nothing to be done about it now. I want you outfitted and ready to leave as soon as possible. Grab your equipment from the lockers and meet me in my office. Once we're through with your debriefing, we'll discuss your next mission. 
I don't like Darth Jadis. I don't like him one bit. I get the feeling I'm going to have to kill him at some point. But we will see. Right, I shall take that. I'm nearly level 11. Hopefully I should be level 11 by the end of this episode. Maybe even further up the episode. I'll be level 12. Who knows? It depends on how fast I get through Drum and Cast. Because of course I've got to do the side missions off screen. And I'm going to get my equipment. Cool. And that's that. Right, now I need to speak to Keeper again. Who is in his office. Coolio. If this is where our hub's gonna be, I'm I'm really gonna be glad that this is gonna be our hub. This is an awesome place. I really like it. Uh, right, hello again, Keeper. Come in, Agent. Let's talk. Galio, wait outside, please. One of the watchers will handle your debriefing. We need to talk about my terms. I promise you, you'll be well compensated. You can discuss the details with the watcher. If you say so, you two have a good time. Why does he say details? Sure. I've been reviewing the report of your activities on Hutter. You were busier than I'd expected. What? I got the job done. If that's a problem, you should change your expectations. Maybe I should. You were extremely effective in your mission, and I'm impressed by your efficiency. You used violence as a tool and not a crutch. Not many agents find that balance so easily. So I wonder, why did you join Imperial Intelligence? I'm going to have my character very sinister. I had my reasons. If you need details, I'm sure there's something in my dossier. I had reasons too. It took me years to reconcile them with reality. Don't let the same thing happen to you. This isn't glamorous work. We're sanitation workers. We clean up after the military and the Sith and do the jobs no one else will. Without us, though, the Empire falls apart. So we do whatever is necessary. Even if it's thankless and ugly, you understand? I understand completely, sir. I'm glad to hear it. Now as to your next assignment. One of the mandates of our organization is to eliminate dissidents and terrorists within the Empire. We've located one cell of radicals here in the capital working toward the violent overthrow of our government. We must know precisely what these terrorists plan. I assume this is the task Darth Jadis mentioned. Although Darth Jadis has expressed concern over the cell's activities, your orders come from me. Okay. We've intercepted chatter suggesting the Radicals are planning a major attack soon, but we've only identified a handful of cell members. You will investigate the cell and obtain its plans. You'll have two operatives assisting you and full support from the Citadel. Kaleo and I worked well together on Hutter. I'd like to use her again. I think that can be arranged. Cool, cool. Doctor Two, please come to my office. Bring Khalil Danis with you. Watcher Two, huh? That's a pretty name. Is it Twi'lek? <laughs> Basic. Unlike many civilizations, the Empire teaches its children how to count. Oh. Watcher Two reporting, sir. Khalil will be your aide in the field. She'll report to you and take your orders, since you seem able to handle her. I'm making you look good, Agent. You should be grateful. Meanwhile, Water 2 will be your liaison to base. She'll stay in contact remotely and provide you with mission details. I've heard a lot about your species. Your unique skills should complement the team well. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. An alien mind, excellent physical performance. I look forward to seeing you in action. Okay. Water 2 is one of our finest analysts, a success from the government eugenics programs. Her brain is faster than most computers. Our primary lead on the Radicals is at the site of a slave rebellion beyond Kars City. You've been outfitted with all necessary equipment already. Once you're in the field, signal me via Holo Communicator and I'll brief you in full. If we're going to get the job done, it's time we got moving. Agreed. Remember, you're not undercover. Identify yourself as an intelligence officer if you need to, and use the fear that it creates. You're on Imperial soil now, Agent. Welcome home. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, there's a bonus mission to actually speak to people. Ooh. Ah, uh, why not? Agent, I'm pleased to see you, of course. But I thought you'd be busy with the mission. Just as well, I suppose. I'm still plotting the details. So, what can I do for you? I figure if we're working together, we should get to know one another. I already know all about you, though. I saw your whole performance on Hutter. But I don't know about if you. If talked and shared, you'd be the only one learning from the exchange. And that wouldn't really be fair now, would it? I'm sure there's something you could share with me. You really want to know who I am? Yeah. I'm someone bred for genetic superiority and raised to be a watcher. Oh. 
I enjoy my work, but I don't like getting close to my agents because they usually get killed. Now we've both got work to do. Contact me via Holo Communicator when you're on site and ready to go, okay? We'll talk about this more another time. Agreed. Goodbye, Agent. Oh, she's a charmer. I kind of wish I hadn't asked now. Uh, should we speak to the others and see what they've got to say? Hopefully they've got something more interesting to say. Like you, although you're going to not speak basic, are you? Great. Get off the table, Kaleo! I greet you respectfully, Maladar, and offer your, you welcome to Droman Cass. I am Lodanth Kashar. Can I assist you in some way? It's always the ones that can't speak basic who always say my name. And you have some sort of code name? No, I am simply Lodanth Kashar. Official policy restricts designations to basic speakers. Since I cannot speak basic, they assume I cannot grasp the importance of a basic designation. It pleases me that you are different. You can prove that some aliens truly love the Empire. I don't intend to disappoint anyone. I am certain this is true. Now, you must attend to your business. Do not allow me to distract you further. And yet, I'm going to get other people to distract me. Yay. You! You're the new alien, eh? Well, let's see how that works out. I'm Fixer 12. Used to be a field operative, but these days, I keep this place running. Why'd you stop working in the field? Wasn't by choice. I was a good agent until a Jedi shoved a lightsaber through my lungs. Ooh. That service. That sacrifice. People here will tell you that the Sith interfere with our work. Keep us always fighting with the Minister of Intelligence, that sort of thing. Maybe they're right, but it doesn't matter. Our job's to obey orders. Our job's to deal with the enemy. Sounds like a hard-line position. Then I'm a hard-liner. The Empire has a lot of enemies. The Republic and Jedi first up. We should focus on getting them, not fighting one another. Remember that, and maybe you'll last longer than most new agents. I'll try to keep it in mind. Good choice. Be careful out there. And the final person we're speaking to is Watcher 3, who is over here sitting on this chair. Oh, hello. Sorry, I, uh, I didn't expect you to come over. You're the field agent from Hutter, right? I'm, I'm Watcher 3. You didn't expect me to come over, yeah, I've been speaking to the other people. <laughs> is there some sort of problem? Am I bothering you? Sorry. That's why I'm here instead of in the field. Not so good with people. Surprised I even got a Watcher designation. If I can manage it, I'm sure you'll get a title soon. How many Watchers are there, anyway? Only Keeper knows for sure. I I've never met a Watcher with a designation higher than four. Watcher 1's on assignment right now, so it's just me and Watcher 2 here. Anyway, I should get back to work. I'm on surveillance duty, and I don't want to miss anything. Good man. Make sure that you don't. Of course. I won't keep you. Wait, 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 wait. You've never met anybody above four? But... But... Uh, where, where is he? There you go. Oh, you're, oh, you're Fixer, I was going to say. I was going to say, there's, there's one over here, but he's a Fixer and you're a Watcher. I get it now. That, that was kind of interesting. That was a really... That was a, that was a really? That was a really interesting bonus mission. I hope we see more of those in the future. That was... That was quite surprising. Uh, but anyway, we shall actually move on and we will travel to the unfinished Colossus. Very dramatic. The main question is, why don't all classes have something like that? I mean, so far, out of all the classes I've played... I could. Uh, well, of all the classes I've played, the Imperial Agent is the only one that's actually ever done that. You know, getting to know people around you. Oh, well, obviously you've got the companions, but I mean like people who aren't your companions. So, if you, if you know what I mean. Why don't other classes have that? Wait, where am I going? Wait, no, 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 I, wait, where am I going? I, did I just, I don't even know where I chose to go anyway. I think I just chose to go to the entrance, hopefully. Please tell me that's where I'm going. No, please don't tell me I'm going all the way back. Just to the entrance. Just to the entrance. Good, 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 good. So, we're making our way over here to the Unfinished Colossus. So, we've got, we've got quite, quite a ways to go, unfortunately. 
We have definitely got a ways to go. But we'll get there, eventually. Although, you know, German cast is being a bit of a bitch with the frame rate. But hopefully it'll die down. It usually does after a while, but... I don't, I, don't, I don't know why it does it. It just... And I don't know why it suddenly dies down after a while, but it does. I should really speak to Cleo as well, but you need to be in Cantina. Maybe if I do this mission and have to go back, I'll pop into the Cantina and speak to her. Slow down. We can spread out, have a picnic, watch the lightning. Yeah, yeah. I would so do that. Yeah, we could always watch the lightning. Yeah. Do you know, I don't actually have a clue where I'm going. Because, uh, you know, this is this is where... Uh, is this where the Outpost Tempest... Okay, cause that, is that going where I think it is? I think it is. It's going... There. Okay, yeah, I knew it. I wasn't sure where it was actually taking me. It was a bit bizarre. Ooh, tell you what. I should probably scavenge whatever this is. Can I scavenge it? Yes, I can. So I should probably scavenge it for my crew skills. And Kalia is dying over there. Can I, can I snipe from over here? Probably not. Aha, I can actually. There you go. You're dead. That was easy. <laughs> Cleo did most of the work. Why? Why am I scavenging us? There we go. Thank you. Ah, oh, there we go. I got some green goo, and I'm now buying. Wow, from one to three already. Fair enough. Right. So unfortunately, to get to where I need to go, I need to actually go through the heroic area, because I think it's over here that I need to go. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. Where, where do, where do I go then? Um, Can't live without me, huh? I don't even know where I'm going. I guess I'll go through here and try through here. Uh, it's the hey. best bet, and this frame rate is really getting on my nerves now. I'm not. I've not even got anything running in the background, and it, it's just it's just happening. Oh yay! They attack those for me, don't they? Lovely. Uh, is this definitely the right way? Yes, it is definitely the right way. Okay, cool. -ho. And here we are in the unfinished Colossus. Why is it called that anyway? Why is it called the unfinished Colossus? It's not like there's a Colossus. Oh. Oh, I'm here. Okay, I can now use my holo communicator. Watcher 2 here. I'm receiving your signal. Mapping your location now. Glad you made it through the jungle safely, Agent. Ready to work? Indeed I am. I'm ready. Just standing by for the details. You may have noticed the chaos out there. There's a slave rebellion going on and you're heading into the middle of it. Our analyst charged with monitoring the rebellion is with me. His name is Lodenth Kashar. He can fill you in on the details. It is pleasing to see you again. I will do my best to meet your expectations. I have been observing the revolting slaves and believe my knowledge may be useful. So because I spoke to those people before, does that mean they now say, it's pleasing to see you again? And if I didn't speak to them, they'd be like, hi, I'm Lodenth Kashar. So that's interesting. How did the rebellion start? What's really going on? This rebellion began several months ago. The slaves, many of them aliens, were being used for construction, but they began fighting for freedom. They are now organized and armed. Their camp is entrenched around a construction site. So far, they have held up their siege. Held up under siege. Imperial intelligence is leaving concerns about the rebellion itself to the military. You're here for a specific slave, an alien named Jurathus. How am I supposed to find one slave in all this mess? It won't be easy, I'll give you that. Jurathus was once owned by an anti-government radical who used slaves to carry messages to like-minded dissidents. My analysis suggests Jurathus kept copies of those messages encoded in the, negative, in the native language. You will need to interrogate the slave leaders to find him. I doubt the slave leaders will cooperate. You're right, but we're prepared for that. You were supplied at base with a medical kit and a syringe full of SLV-16 serum. You must incapacitate a slave leader, shoot him and inject him with the serum. He will awaken in a suggestible state and he will tell you where Jurithis is. One way or another, I'll make sure he talks. Yes, the serum is most effective. I helped develop it. I will keep this channel open. As soon as you obtain Jurithis' messages, I will download them and begin translating. Another reason why it's useful to have aliens on staff. In any case, good luck. I'll get Jurathus' messages. You should find your targets inside the camp. Take a slave down, apply the serum, and locate Jurathus. This is the only way we can learn what the radicals are planning. Time's running out, Agent. Everybody's a racist. 
What is it? It's like, I, I know they're all saying compliments. Another reason why we hire aliens. But it's like, if you were to think about it back in the day when racism was illegal, and people, you, and, but what, pe what people used to say about black people, it's kind of, it's kind of cruel because people actually say, oh, this is another reason why black people are useful. It's, it's kind of wrong. And I have another gun. Why do I have another gun? Is it to go here? No, I can't go here. Is this more powerful than the one I actually have? Wait, am I wearing... Well, that's Kaleo. I get plus minus one cunning. Eh, I'll, I'll take it. Might as well. Uh, so right, where are we going? We are going down... Oh, to the very far end. Okay, let's make our way to the very far end. Ignoring all oh, these side missions. If they had any brass, they wouldn't have waited till the statue was half built to start shooting. They deserve what they get. What? You're very cruel, Kaleo, aren't you? But okay, each to our own. Okay, so now the enemies are starting to get to level 12. Okay, so they're starting to get a bit more difficult. But we may be alright. Hopefully. Kaleo will do most of the damage, obviously. Because she's more close range than I am. But, you know, we'll be alright. As soon as I hit level, level 11... I'll be fine. And then, what, obviously, once I finish up this episode, I will do side missions off screen, so I'll probably be a different level after um, today's episode until you next see me. So there we go. Right, where are we going? We are need, we need to incapacitate the slave leader, but first we're going to disrupt this for fun. Level 11. Lovely. There'll be some new abilities for me, won't there? I think so. Oh, wh what? Whoa! Whoa, 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 hello! Where did you, where did you come from? I'm going to snipe you right in your face. Uh, is it just you I've got to kill? Nope, it's you as well. That's no good. That's, that's, a ter that's a terrible place to be in cover. Seriously. How many enemies was that at once? There was one, two, three, four, five, six. Six enemies at once, and I took them all down. I am awesome. Is that a Wookiee? No, it's not a Wookiee. Okay, right. We've incapacitated the slave leader. Now we're going to make him talk. I'm running. Chest hurts and something's in my head. Rain's coming down. Everything's sinking into the ground. Well done. Putin staff. I haven't seen anyone zoned out like that since Nar Shada. I, th I think I know you, but I... I don't remember anything. I, d I don't know what you want. Everything hurts. Tell me where Jurithis is, or I'll hurt you more. Jurithis... Jurithis is gone. Day is gone now. It all goes so slowly. Jurithis burns and... starts to look like our Colossus. Incomplete. Mm -hmm. After Jurithis died fighting in the jungle. I don't remember why we were fighting. Jurithus died, I know that. Do you know where he kept his belongings? He kept his old life with him. Strange life, strange data pads. He, he thought they were valuable. Jurithus died with Sathan and Ranith and Avoira. All aliens, all friends, all fighting beside the foot of the statue. Jurithus is still there. If the beasts haven't eaten him. I really appreciate your help. What should I think about now? I, I don't know what to do with my head. I don't know what to do with my hands. The serum will wear off. You'll be okay. After that, do what you want. But I don't know what to do. My head is hollow. It hurts. Bizarre. Okay, right, we need to find Jurithus' body, which I think he said is below the statue, right beneath the statue. As far as I'm aware, the statue is over... I don't know, where is the statue? Where's the statue? Where's the statue? It's somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh yeah, of course, I didn't check my abilities, did I? There's this, these are abilities as well, isn't there? Uh, that and that, okay, they're just upgrades, and I should probably put that in there as well, so I now have a higher snipe. Lovely. Where is that statue? The statue is there, so he must be in that direction. And he is. But I want to get past these guys without attacking them if possible. Although I probably should attack them for experience. That is a... Uh, that. Wow. That is amazing. Is there someone actually on there? 
Oh no, oh it's, oh, it's just a macro binoculars things. If you don't know what that is, spoilers. Well, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you know what I mean. And snipe him out. Oh, you're going behind cover as well. Ooh. Wow, that was very effective. Right, let's get his body and search his body, see what he's got. He has an encrypted data pad. Activate the encrypted data pad. Will do. What does it contain? I have no idea because it won't tell me, but I've got to use my holocom. Cool. Actually, I should probably do it like a sel like a selfie moment. Like, oh, did you see me in front of the in front of the statue? You know, see me in front of the statue? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Lieutenant Kashar speaking. I've downloaded all files attached to the slave's data pad. Watch two has authorized me to translate the contents. It will take time, but I'm already accessing names and locations. Hurry up, will you? Well, I will do so. <laughs> However, keeper requested that I transfer your call to him upon commission completion. Do you have any idea what he wants? Unfortunately, he does not inform me of his reasoning. Please hold. Agent, you're to suspend all field operations immediately. You're needed elsewhere. Why? I wasn't expecting to hear from you, keeper. Water two is still your liaison to base, but I wanted to deliver these orders personally. Darth Jadis wants to speak with you. You will proceed to his chambers for an audience. You've met Darth Jadis, experienced his power. I suggest you treat him with respect and do as he asks. I'm looking forward to chatting with a member of the Dark Council. Of course. You will resume operations when this is finished, Agent. Keep her out. Well, that didn't sound so good. Still, powerful men are the same across the galaxy. I'll bet your life that whatever else Jadis is, he's a powerful man too. I wonder what Jadis wants from me. Hmm. Uh, do I take these boots or do I take planet planetary accommodation? To be honest, I can probably get some better loot from missions I'm going to do off screen. Oh, damn it! Go away. So we're not going to speak to Darth Jadis right now. We're going to speak to him in the next episode. But what does he want? Find out next week. When I'm home from EGX, because I'm actually at EGX right now. I mentioned that in my Jedi Console episode, but at this moment in time, I'm at EGX. Eurogamer. <laughs> so exciting! Uh, well, as a recording, I'm not here, but when this episode is out, I am on the third day of EGX. So, there we go. So, while they're killing them, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.